So looking at this, Madam Web hits a record low for Sony Spider-Man movies for the box office. I believe it got beat out by Madam Web came in at number two. I think uh, number one box office was that Bob Marley biopic. Coming from uh, uh, IGN says that it struggled. Sony's latest superhero film grossed one, well, excuse me, seventeen point six million in the U.S. during its three day opening weekend, and twenty five point eight million during the six day period, leading the worst opening for any Spider-Man universe movie, including the critically panned vampire flick Morbius. So this is what it boils down to, guys. Morbius performed better than Madam Web. And people unanimously mocked and shamed. They actually tricked these guys into re-releasing it. That movie. Now... I guess the question that everybody has here is like, is just, just, just continuing on with the trend of um, what's going on with these superhero films, which yes and no. The no part is where I think people get this thing wrong is that they wrongfully assume that it's just superhero stuff that's tanking in the box office. Have y'all seen the box office as of late and where the numbers are? It doesn't matter what the hell the movie is. The things that are seeing these crazy successes like the Oppenheimers or the Barbie movies, those are outliers. That's not the standard. Hollywood film industry has a spending problem. They also have an enthusiasm problem, which I think a lot of people sleep on. And that is that people are not into this, these movies enough to go and actually pay money to go view it in a, in a movie theater is quality to blame. Yes. Is some of the goofy, just general goofiness of the movies to blame. Yes. Is the spending to blame with the failures because they're having to make a lot of money because they're spending a lot of money though. Madam Webb was an $80 million. It's still going to lose money. It's one of the cheaper made films that we've seen as far as the superhero genre is concerned. Because those have been going north of 200 million and it's still going to lose money. So, yes, they have a spending problem. They have a content problem. And both of those combined, excuse me, have us in a situation to where, sure, economically, it looks like there's a problem, right? You see it. It's a little slow here, slow there. But when you start to see it industry wide, which is, I think, the more intriguing conversation, it ain't just the superhero stuff. This is an industry wide thing where they have to answer the question as to why people aren't enthusiastic about these films and why they can't make their money back on. them. It is a fundamental issue that they have to address And it's I guess what makes it so difficult is that it's multiple things. It's not just one thing where they can say, hey, they can correct it and and, and people will be back at the movie theater. It's not that easy. They're seeing a decline across the board. And I don't know if they can fix it, to be completely honest. This is why I think that with especially independents, they need to be focusing on trying to come up with these creative ways that are brand new, not the typical experience, but coming up with creative ways to make film producing lucrative. Because I don't know if it'll ever return to the box office of old. I just don't, I don't see that happening. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira.